Kings chapter 17. I think this is a relevant word for the people of God for this hour and this time of and this age. Yes, 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 yes. First Kings 17. There's a, there's, a, there's a recession, you know, politics, they, they, they kept it down, it was a campaign year, so they would release the truth any earlier because they didn't want to make the republic look bad, but there's a recession in the land. Uh -huh. And prices are going up, and the, dollar, the value of the dollar is going down, and over a million jobs have been lost, 60,000 in one month in Georgia alone. Wow. People are losing their jobs left and right, foreclosures. Yeah. There's so many, I, I talked to this one lady, she was 11 months behind on her house note and they still wouldn't foreclose on it. The mortgage companies are in such bad shape, they won't even take your house. Mm, my God. They got so many, I was talking to a man yesterday, the man said this, this particular bank, and had this builder walked into to this bank, the man had built 101 houses. He came in with a bag full of keys and gave it back to the bank. He said, here, here's your houses. He couldn't sell them. Big time, one of the biggest developers in the country, gone belly up, gave 101 houses back to the bank. Y'all, it's, it's worse than they're letting on. That's right. But here in 1 Kings chapter 17, Lord have mercy. 1 Kings 17, 1 Kings chapter 17, verse number 8. God, and the word of the Lord came unto him, Elisha. Mm -hmm. A word came to the man of God. A word came to the man of God. A word right. came to the man of God. Oh, God. Yeah, God. Saying, Arise, get thee to Zarephath, which belongeth to Zion, and dwell there. Behold, I have commanded a widow woman there to sustain thee. Some of y'all know the scripture. Now, this widow woman, as y'all will find out later on, she ain't got much of nothing. But God told the man of God to go to this woman, she gonna take care of you. Mm. That's the word, y'all. That's the word. Because see, a lot of times God will lead us in ways that don't, don't make sense. That's mm -hmm. right. And our God will tell us to, to, to do things that, that we figure, you know, it just don't make no sense. I'll give you a prime example one time. I've told this story before. Um, I was going to buy a house. The closing costs were $1,100. Well, the closing costs were nine ninety seven. I had $1,100 in the bank. I'm sitting in church, and God said, put $1,000 in the plate. <laughs> and I said, I heard the, the voice of God. And I said, Satan, the Lord rebuke you. <laughs> the blood of Jesus against you. God ain't telling me to put no thousand dollars in. And then somebody stood up in the audience and said, the Lord just told somebody to give some big money. <laughs> you better get it. You're going to miss your blessing. And then the person said, the devil wouldn't tell you to give. Mm, that's right. Now see, I thank God because that person that stood up with the confirmation. Because I knew I heard God. Because you know good and well, God ain't, the devil didn't tell you to give. I heard God, but I didn't want to obey but see, listen, God is so that God was determined to bless me. He was so determined to bless me that he moved on somebody else's heart to stand up and give me another word. Yes. Mm. Go ahead and do it. Uh-huh. Now see, let me tell you something. I, I, Lord have mercy. Listen, listen. Look, look, look. God, look, God, see, God knows the future. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. See, you know our problem is, our problem is we do not live by faith. All right. Mm -mm. We don't live by faith. We live by our paycheck, yeah. our bank account. Yeah. Yeah. We live by bobo down the street. Yeah. We live by what we can put our hands up, what we can yeah. see, feel, touch, taste, and handle. We do not live by faith. All right. No, we don't. We don't, we don't really trust God. No, we don't. Come on, let's be real. We don't trust God. I ain't got a phone with food stamps. I'm going out of the government. I'm going again. I'm not saying don't take care of something. Don't, don't, don't do what you have to do. But the truth of the matter is, y'all, we do not trust in God. So anyhow, I gave the thousand dollars like God told me. All right. I called the man up and said, "Sir, I can't buy the house. I can't close. I'm for all my money in church." He said, "You put all your money in church, yeah? Why you do that?" I said, "Because God told me to." He said, "God told you to put thousand dollars in, and you did it, yeah?" I said, "Well, I can't come to close." He said, "Well, come on to close them anyhow. I'll pay all the closing costs." Ah! My house, I showed up with nothing but a pencil in my hand. Yeah, yeah. All I did was sign, 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 sign. I bought a house, zero down, no closing costs. Took out a twenty-five thousand dollar loan against it, put thirteen thousand dollars in my pocket. My Lord, my. I'm trying to tell you something. When God want to bless you, He can bless you. That's right. Even even despite your little hard headed, uh, my hard headed self, He'll still bless you. <laughs> and so God, so, and so I'm saying, sometimes God tells you to do stuff, and you know, don't don't try to figure God out always. 
Sometimes you just have to just obey God. If God give a word and say, don't let Sharon spend the night someplace else, don't try to, I don't see why, I don't think it make no sense. I don't think she heard God. Just obey God. Just obey. There you go. Just obey a word. There you go. Just obey. Word of the Lord. I walked this one church. I'm going to move on. Lord have mercy. I, I walked in the door, and the man was prophesying. And you know, truth be told now, y'all, you just lock your call to the prophets. I didn't want that man to call me. I didn't really believe in him. Be real, can I be real? I didn't believe, I didn't believe he had no word from God. I'm sitting back there trying to hope he don't call because he ain't calling everybody with all these general prophecies. You know, you've been praying about something going to happen. That ain't no prophecy. Tell me something specific. Right. Then he called me out. You. <laughs> <laughs> he said, you own a moving business and God is going to take to another level. Amen. Oh, now, this, now. This, this, your, this is my first time in the church all ever. Right, amen. Ever. Mm. That means you know me from Adam. What I'm saying is, I'm saying God got a word for you. I'm saying God has a word for your life. I'm saying God will lead you. God will direct you. I'm telling you, God cares about what you're going through. I don't care how young you are, how old you are. I don't care what you're going through. That's right. I know what you're going through. That's right. God got a word for you. Okay, God got one verse. God got a word for you. If you obey the word of God, everything will be all right. God will put in folk heart to leave stuff left and right. God will furnish the whole house, your neighbor's house too. God will provide whatever you need. That's true. He'll give you a job where folk are laying off. Have, folk have two and three jobs. Other folk can't find a job in six months. He will do it. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. God will. I was so shocked when she got found a second part-time job. I'm like, how can she find a part-time job? And folk out there unemployed for six, nine, 12, 15 months. But the Bible said, God be for you. Hey! <laughs> and so the word I'm trying to move on. The word came and said, go over here to this widow woman. All right. But now the widow woman, she ain't got cheap hole. <laughs> but I almost used her to sustain you. And, she, and so he arose and went to Zarephath. And when he came to the gate of the city, behold, the widow woman was there gathering of sticks. And he called her and said, Fetch me, I pray thee, a little water and a vessel that I may drink. And she said, Okay, I'll do that. And as she was going to fetch it, he called her and said, Bring me, I pray thee, a morsel of bread in thine hand. All right. And she said, that, She got a problem here now. As the Lord thy God liveth, I have not a cake, but only a handful of meal in a barrel and a little oil in a cruise. And behold, I am gathering two sticks that I may go in and dress it for me and my son that we may eat it and die. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now y'all, several things here, several things you have to point out. Several things you have to notice. Come on now. Notice number one, this woman's vision for her future. Mm. Ooh! That's good there. That's Look good. Look at what she was looking for. Mm. I'm finna eat my last meal and die. My Lord, no vision. Well, she didn't know God. She didn't, I don't know, but I tell you what, listen, we have an opportunity to know God. That's right. We have an opportunity to pray. That's right. We have an opportunity to believe God. That's right. We showed sure up, got a word from God. I ain't talking about me or anybody else, but you got your own Bible. You can get your word from God. All right. I'm saying you don't have to live your life defeated and hopeless. I'm saying you can have a vision for yourself. If nobody, if no preacher ever call you out, you gotta have a vision for yourself. Mm. You gotta believe in yourself. That's right. Just made the same man, Amen. the same man who I bought my first two houses from. That was in '95, '96. Here it is, 2008. I call him up, Jerry. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Been a long time. How you doing, Jerry? I'm fine. Um. You know, I have a 36-unit apartment building. Mm. Um, I'll sell it to you, and I'll leave my name on the loan. Wow. Mm. My God. Huh. You see what I'm saying? Now, this man going to sell me an, an apartment building, and he going to finance it, bottom line. Amen. Yeah. I'm trying to tell you, God will supply. God, God will give you what you want. He'll give you what you need. Mm. He will open doors. God will put on somebody's heart to give you what you need. You gotta believe. You gotta believe. You gotta have faith. You got to believe. And I always say this to always say, you have to be in the way of a blessing. <laughs> That's good. A lot of us we on see we on the wrong track, we're on the wrong road, we're hanging out with folk that ain't got nothing, they ain't got a word from God, they don't want nothing. none. We're not really where God can bless us. All right, all right. You have to be where God can 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 bless you. Mm. Right. I call a rich old man up. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> That's right. 
That woman, that came that woman said, well, even the dogs eat the crumbs. Yes. All right. Yes. All right. Come on, man. The Bible says the wealth of the wicked is laid up. Come on. Hey. Yes. I call old man up. 